Greetings. My name is Jace Hargis. I would like to share a little bit of information about mobile learning. I have a bit of experience in this area, and basically I would like to share my five four-letter words on the topic. The first word may seem obvious, but uh, I believe that uh, really focusing on this idea of movement and having people and things and uh, all types of interaction of, of movement is really critical. Uh, in this, we can try to increase engagement, uh, we can try to increase uh, collaboration, community, uh, any type of uh, ability to get people to have conversations and increase and share what they're doing. And the second term is uh, play. This is really key when you look at almost any type of um, movement you'll see that uh, there's this intentionality of, of play. Now, the key will be, as well, to play with some sort of purpose. Uh, purposeful play, a goal, an outcome, an intention, rules, a little bit of structure. Much of this comes from um, the player themselves. Secondarily, this uh, ability to what I term uh, a, a failed event. Uh, the purpose here being uh, lots of tries, lots of attempts, uh, but this, this internal struggle of, of feeling like you want to, to, to go out and, and, um, and possibly fail so that you can get another try, you can figure another way around it, and, uh, and get better and better as you proceed along the path. These um, idea of gamification um, actually is, is not really new. It has came from uh, the, this idea from the... Uh, uh, EDUCAUSE, the New Medium Consortium Horizon Report, and the Horizon Report uh, literally lists out uh, a list of um, possibilities that might be happening on the, the near and the short-term horizon, one of those being uh, the increased uh, game <laughs> gamification. Great thing about this uh, Explain Everything app is that you can uh, change, you can mark up, you can make mistakes on your own and fix those, the Horizon Report. The next term is uh, make. Uh, all part of the Web 2.0 uh, movement is this whole idea of tra transitioning from uh, consumers to creators. And creators have a lot in common. Basically, they really enjoy um, trying to make things uh, together in, in laboratories and uh, especially looking at something like the, uh, the 3D movement, uh, the 3D makers movement. So we have this concept of a maker's lab or anything that allows them to um, create a um, together share. So uh, these are 21st century skills as far as creating and collaborating and analyzing. Uh, so the uh, fabrication labs or fab labs have become popular and uh, this particular uh, the graphic shows a green screen or a green technology where uh, students, teachers, would uh, capture their video behind this green screen and then go through and edit and replace uh, diagrams, pictures, videos behind them. You've seen this in uh, typical weather uh, forecasting news type uh, programs. Uh, the next major uh, uh, term, the four-letter word, my fourth of five, is this concept of feeling. Now, this is something that um, really originates from, we're looking at this uh, concept of digital learning instead of disconnecting, but really reconnecting in uh, ways that um, possibly we may, lost, we may have lost. Um, and one of those is a, um, a philosophy of the social-emotional competencies. These include um, apathy, understanding, communication, uh, um, all types of ways that we can connect. Uh, if we know all the information in the world and we really focus on some analytical techniques, we need to find a way that we can actually access and share these in a broader market. Other comp uh, competencies and other ideas for this might be something like um, sustainability, um, health and wellness, and um, all of this turns into the possibility of, of creating a um, authentic ideas, authentic artifacts, and much of this can be done in um, what historically has been used a uh, uh, terminology of inquiry-based learning, and it's now derivatives of challenge-based learning, 
project-based learning, experiential-based learning. These are all ways that we can use our feelings and intrinsically uh, create some uh, products that we can share and, and represent what, what we know. The final word is one of those terms that we look at uh, sometimes a little bit with a challenge, but uh, eval, not a true four-letter word, but um, evaluation. And uh, evaluation or assessment can uh, be tricky at times. The concept here is to try to help folks see evaluation as a collection of behaviors or assessment. And assessment has uh, sometimes needs uh, a, a very concrete way to, to measure. Although many of the complexities of behavior and what we know is, is very difficult to measure. We tend to focus on things that we can measure as opposed to maybe some of those that are just more difficult to measure uh, because again that takes time, money, resources. When in actuality uh, we could think about using um, something like a, a rubric. A rubric is simply a set of attributes that uh, one might be looking to uh, measure or hope that the, uh, the students can actually access after they've and developed certain skills and this is really common in uh, project-based learning as well as creating these e-portfolios so that um, students know clearly what it is that they um, the target and teachers can evaluate those subsequently thank you again for listening uh, again my top five are to move play make feel and evaluate